Hello, this is uh, My name is Ugin Galpo and uh, I'm making this video from New York City. I'm actually making this video with a heavy heart. Uh, it's so sad and tragic that in little less than two months, uh, we're hearing that the, the killings of two Tibetans, young Tibetans by Chinese police. Well, in little less than uh, one month from now, uh, Tibet Tibetans all over the world will be uh, commem commemorating the 62nd anniversary of the uh, Tibetan Uprising Day. Mm. An Uprising Day uh, in 1959 that was brutally crushed by the Chinese Communist Party and that led to the holocaustic loss and killing of over one million Tibetan people. And the suffering and the oppression and the repression of the Tibetan still continues to this day, 62 years later. Uh, if you could imagine this. And uh, Tibet, as we all know, was a lab test for all kinds of torture, repression that's been mirrored, uh, amplified in places like Xinjiang. Talking about Xinjiang, uh, millions of Tibet, millions of uh, uh, ethnic uh, Uyghur Muslims are tortured and one million uh, are being incarcerated. But that doesn't mean uh, that that Tibet was a lab test and uh, is no longer a lab test. Tibet still continues to be a place where millions of people are directly or indirectly oppressed, uh, just, just, just like Uyghurs are. And it's extremely sad that uh, this is taking um, place uh, recklessly, this is taking place like relent relentlessly in the eyes uh, of the world, uh, in uh, in the eyes of the world, and uh, all, all the world, all the all the people of the world, and the United Nations can actually do is uh, do is to just to watch uh, as if they are they are blind, deaf, and dumb uh, to the suffering and cries of the Tibetan people and the Uyghur. Uh, a well-known uh, Rangtan activist, uh, I admire him a lot. Uh, Tenzi Sundula, uh, who is based in Dharamsala, is actually uh, walking uh, all the way from Dharamsala, uh, the capital of the political seat of the Tibetan government in exile, to uh, New Delhi, uh, which is the capital of India and also uh, the political seat of the Indian uh, democracy. And his main aim and objective uh, for his uh, walk a mile campaign, walk a mile for Tibet campaign, is to uh, request and demand uh, the Indian government to repeal a one China policy. And, uh, and as we know, uh, yeah, the repeal, the repealment of one China policy has a loss of, uh, has a lots of uh, uh, the implication uh, as far as uh, India and China, uh, uh, the political, uh, the geopolitical dynamics uh, and the, the, the border issue and the border uh, sk uh, skirmishes that is taking place and Tibet uh, 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 being restored into its historical uh, 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 historical place as a buffer state and uh, the, uh, the, the, what do you call, the deconstruction of the uh, Indochina border into its actual uh, the original Indo-Tibetan border. So the one-China policy has a lot of uh, political significance and I extremely uh, support his match, march uh, uh, on foot uh, from uh, Dharamsala and uh, to Delhi and uh, and I'm in spirit of uh, walking uh, with him uh, every single day uh, uh, with you and thank you so much. And thank you so much uh, for all the passion, uh, for all the uh, patriotic fervor that you're able to instill in, in Tibetans around the world. And the world is watching you. The Tibetan inside Tibet are, are also watching you. So Tujiche, thank you so much for this. Uh, so uh, in little less than two months ago, Tenzin uh, Nyamala, uh, when we first heard uh, a killing of a Tibetan teenage monk, uh, by the name of Tenzin Nyamala. He was only 19 year old and his only crime was that he was peacefully demonstrating and was actually uh, uh, distributing leaflets uh, calling for Tibet's independence. And he was, uh, he was arrested. He was arrested and uh, uh, he belonged to uh, the Dza Wompo Monastery in Kadze region, which is the, which is the Eastern Tibet, uh, the, the, the region, Tibetan region of Kham. 
so that was where he was uh, arrested and uh, and uh, just few just a couple of months ago uh, when he was actually released from the hospital he was pronounced dead at from the prison uh, he was pronounced dead at the hospital because of the injuries uh, that he sustained at the hands of the police the brutality uh, the kind of uh, a deadly uh, I mean, punishment uh, that he endured, endured uh, in the hands of the Chinese police. Uh, as we can, as we have been told, uh, stories over stories uh, by Tibetans who survived the Chinese gulags. Of, uh, uh, we can we can only imagine the kind of hardship, the kind of torture, uh, uh, the likes of Tenzin Yimala and and many uh, Tibetan political prisoner. Uh, who are still languishing in Tibetan prison uh, uh, go through. So, uh, it, 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 uh, so the killing of one uh, by uh, Chinese police uh, brings out, uh, opens, up a, opens up a wide window uh, to the inner dark world of the Chinese Gulag where millions, thousands of thousands of Tibetan uh, uh, political prisoners are, are languishing for years now and many, 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 many have been killed uh, and there's no count uh, f for the for the dead bodies, uh, and and Tenzin Yima happens to be uh, just one case of 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 from from thousands uh, that is coming to light, and uh, and just as we are grieving and mourning for his death, uh, and before before we even done uh, with the mourning mourning of his death, uh, in and there, in, yet, in just two days ago uh, there was a news of another Tibetan by the name of Kuncho uh, Jimpa. Uh, Kuncha Jimpala, who was also killed uh, by the Chinese uh, police. So, uh, as we know, uh, starting from uh, 1959, ever since Chinese came uh, to Tibet, uh, with the next session of Tibet, uh, there was a brutal uh, a rape uh, and, and, this, uh, and the sucking of the Tibetan uh, plateau. Uh, they, were t they were raping Tibet's uh, uh, Tibet to his core, they were raping Tibet off his natural uh, resources and uh, they were shaving off forests, uh, they were uh, like, uh, they were doing like, uh, they were mining uh, Tibetan, uh, I mean, uh, sacred mountains and lakes and uh, and they were like, uh, after uh, rare earth minerals uh, uh, that is, that is, that has become the backbone of the tech world and, uh, and, uh, the, the 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 economic uh, the miraculous growth of China uh, is actually taking place uh, from the destruction of the mountains of Tibet and Xinjiang, uh, which is the bedrock of minerals. Uh, the Tibetan plateau is the bedrock of minerals, and that's exactly where the rare earth minerals are being mined. And uh, during such uh, one such uh, uh, mining uh, was taking place uh, in this place called. Uh, Ngatla Zamba Mountains in Diru County uh, that Kuncha Jimpa reported of thousands of Tibetans who are protesting uh, against the mining of the sacred mountain and uh, when he was arrested he was sentenced to 13 years in prison so before he was being uh, before he was being arrested uh, before he was being arrested uh, uh, he before he was being arrested he actually feared that he would be arrested and in one of his social media posts uh, he he's, he wrote a text and I'm just gonna read the text uh, uh, word by word and I'm, I'm, I'm exactly quoting his word he, he's, he wrote I am now at the bank of a river there are many people behind watching me and I'm sure to be arrested even if they arrest me I'm not afraid even if they kill me I have no regrets but from now on, I will not be able to give reports. If there's no word from me, that means I've been arrested. And rightly so, after he, after he wrote this text, uh, he was never to be heard of until a few days ago uh, that, that he was being brutally uh, killed uh, uh, at the hands of the Chinese uh, police. And Durham County still uh, continues to uh, continues to be continues to remain under under strict uh, uh, surveillance. Uh, and after this incident, when this incident uh, took place, there was a violent crackdown on, on the Tibetans in in, in Durham County, and uh, and it, it is under under a strict strict lockdown that you could only imagine in places like uh, North Korea, uh, so to speak. Uh, as of late, uh, uh, 
for few for for for, uh, for few years now uh china with the favorite uh long uh weight gain has been trying to uh uh change uh, has been trying to uh force uh uh sinicize uh, tibetans in, in every uh, uh shape and form and they're forcing actually forcing tibetans to replace uh, she, the portrait of Xi Jinping, the portrait of Mao Zedong, the, the portrait of butchers of uh, Beijing, the butchers of uh, uh, these communist, Chinese Communist Party uh, to replace uh, upon our altars to be worshipped. They're forcing Tibetans to wave uh, Chinese flags. They're, they're forcing Tibetans to hoist a uh, Chinese flag on the roof of their on the roof of the houses. They're forcing Tibetans, and actually they are uh, compensating Tibetans who openly vilify His Holiness the Dalai Lama. And Xi Jinping, actually, I want to quote uh, in one of his statements last year, he said that he's actually he, uh, planting the seed of loving China in the depth of the heart of every teenager. Extremely laughable. The, the recent Tibetans who was killed uh, was just a teenager, he was only 19 year old. And that, uh, that speaks uh, uh, volume about the, the contradiction uh, that is actually uh, uh, taking place that on the surface uh, Tibetans might actually be hoisting a Chinese flag on the surface Tibetan might actually be uh, 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 be worshiping replacing Xi Jinping's portrait uh, onto the altars but deep down uh, the the allegiance the, uh, the the devotion that Tibetans have for his, his Holiness the Dalai Lama is unfathomable uh, I want to I want to tell this to the Chinese Communist Party that the devotion uh, that the Tibetans have, the Tibetan inside of Tibet have for His Holiness Dalai Lama, cannot be replaced by by a dictator, uh, by a communist uh, Chinese Communist Party that's only uh, seventy two year old. Uh, so uh, the indomitable. I also wanted to reiterate, uh, like I did in many of my uh, articles, the few articles that I write and a few of the videos that, that, that are probably made, that the indomitable spirit of the Tibetan people will never be, uh, will never be able to be conquered. The, the, the indomitable uh, spirit of the Tibetan people will never surrender to a Chinese Communist Party that is only 72 years old. There are, one, there are thousands and thousands of the likes of Tenzin Yimas, there are thousands and thousands of the likes of Kunchuk, Zimba, uh, Kunchuk Jimba who are ready to explode uh, for the cause of Tibet. Tibetans will let me let me also tell you that Tibetans will outlive the Chinese Communist Party. China right now, after after uh, uh, COVID, uh, after the CCP virus, is on the anvil of judgment. The world is outraged uh, by what they did uh, to, to, to the socio economic uh, of of the world, and they have actually helped uh, drive. Uh, uh, they have actually helped push. Uh, the, the the prosperity of the world thirty years behind because of the uh, uh, because of the uh, uh, recklessness the Chinese Communist Party leadership showed uh, uh, towards the handling of the Chinese uh, China, uh, uh, towards the coronavirus and uh, I want to thank uh, the U.S. government uh, that has been stepping up recently uh, and uh, uh, they're not uh, I know that uh, they, they they they've always been playing. Uh, Mm, the, the the cause of Tibet to poke China uh, once in a while, but recently uh, the passing of the Reciprocal Access Tibet Act, the pass the passing of the Tibet Policies and Support Act, and the bill that is still uh, in the House uh, that will that that that'll later be escalated into the Senate uh, that that recognizes that seeks to recognize Tibet as an independent country. The bill uh, that was initiated by Scott Perry uh, will change the narrative. Uh, will change the geopolitical uh, dynamic uh, that that will shape the foreign policy of uh, the U.S. with China, and uh, I'm pretty sure other other European nations will also uh, follow suit. And India, uh, I'm extremely uh, happy and proud that India is standing tall uh, to, uh, uh, towards the uh, uh, bullishness, uh, towards the bully of China's. Uh, 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 towards uh, China's expan expansionist craze, and uh, and uh, I'm pretty sure that one day uh, 
for their own benefit. One day, uh, for, uh, India, for their own benefit, will repeal one China policy and recognize Tibet as an independent country and res restore Tibet historical significance as a buffer zone. And that will help India uh, to uh, evaporate and to, to destroy, to dis dis deconstruct the fake Indochina border uh, that never existed. Uh, so, uh, with the uh, with the repeal of one China policy and the, with the recognition of Tibet as an independent country, uh, India is also doing uh, itself a favor by by um, uh, by replacing by uh, restoring a historical fact. Uh, so, I hope uh, many things will is is lined up for Tibet, and uh, uh, I hope that one day uh, the cries of the Tibetan people, the suffering of the Tibetan people, will be heard. Uh, by the people of the world will be amplified that, that has been amplified to to the deaf ears of the United Nations uh, that that one day the self induced they will wake up from the self induced slumber and kick uh, the Chinese Communist Party uh, and make them accountable uh, for all the damages uh, that they have caused the world make them accountable for the death of millions of Tibetans and Uyghurs and for the death and destruction of democracy in Hong Kong. Uh, and make them accountable for all the evil things that they have done. Thanks so much, Pugelo.